Okay, we begin today on bottom of Daladamid base. <coughs> so we go back to the Mishnah, the beginning of the Mesechta, Hoya Gavoya Me'esra Mama. So what did it say in the Mishnah? What did the Chachamim hold? That if the Kaira for the Mavoy is higher than 20 Amis, so then what do you have to do? You mayit. You have to bring it down. So the Gemara over here is going to discuss, when you get to being Memayit, the Kaira which is uh, higher than uh, tzitz, tzitz, tzitz. A kaira which is higher than uh, 20 Amis. Zok de Gemara, it's uh, five, six lines from the bottom. Hoya Gavoya Mesra Mama or Bola Mate. If it's higher than 20 Amis and you want to be Memayit, this distance from the ground. Kama Memayit. So how much do you have to be Memayit this distance? So the Gemara says, what's your question? Kama Memayit? Kama de Tzarechle. Whatever is necessary. In other words, if it's 25 amas high, so you have to be memayit 5 amas. If it's 30 amas high, you have to be memayit 10 amas. So, what's the question? So, as Rashi explains over here, when the Gemara says yemayit, you know what we're talking about? This time when you learn the mission, you think the high you memayit. You take that kaira and you bring it down. But that's not what the kind of memayit that we're talking about, as we'll see here in the Gemara. The memayit we're talking about is that a person builds up from the, on the ground some kind of a small platform to elevate the place where the kaira is, so that in that place there shouldn't be the distance of 20 yamas. That's a yamamayat, on the ground. Bistam, it's more practical. You have a kaira that's on the top over there, and it's placed on top of a wall from the mavoy. So what are you going to do? You're going to break the whole mavoy and you're going to bring it down. So you leave it where it is on the top. It's a tall wall and you leave it where it is, but you it by elevating the ground a little bit. That's what we're talking about here. So the Gemara, Elam, what was the shaila here? Rachboy bekama. So when you're creating that elevation on the ground, how wide does that space of elevation have to be? That's the shaila. That the Gemara says, Rav Yisuf Oma Tefach. It has to be wide a Tefach. Abay Oma Arba. Abay says the elevation on the ground has to be at least four Tefachim wide. So the Gemara now is going to explain the pshat of this machlekes, and we're going to have over here, I believe, th- four pshatim and what the basis of the Machleik is, of, Ra- of Abaye and of Yosef is. So, so should we say that the basis of their Machleik is as follows. The one that says that a Tefach is enough, he holds under the Kaira itself. Right? What does the Kaira do? The whole point of the Kaira is that you should be able to carry inside the Mavoy. How about under the actual kaira itself? Are you allowed to carry under the actual kaira itself? You once spoke about this, it came up in Masech the Shabbos. So it's a machlekes. See, if you say that you're allowed to be mishtamish, you're allowed to carry under the actual kaira itself, so then as long as under the kaira itself, you made an elevation on the ground, and now it's not anymore the space of 20 amis, so right there, it's going to be a hekka. Right there, it's not anymore 20 amis. You look up and you'll notice the kaira that's on the top. So this means that the Correct. Is, Correct. Okay, and we're talking about how deep. It how is. deep into the movi? Correct. If it has to be one amir, uh, one tefach deep in, or four tefach deep in. Correct. So the one that says one tefach says, why is one tefach good enough? Mutter lehishtamish tachas akira. You could carry right under the kaira. So as long as right under the kaira, which only has to be a tefach, the kaira itself on the top has to be a tefach. So right below it, you have an elevation of a tefach. So you stand on top of it. So now you can, you'll notice it. That's where you're being mishtamish and you'll notice it. The one that says, Abaya, right? That says that it has to be four tefachim. Kusavar osr lehishtamish tachas ha Right under the kaira, you're not allowed to carry there. The kaira is matter to carry inside the movi, but not under the kaira. So therefore having a tefach right below the kaira won't be good, because where are you going to be standing? Where are you going to be carrying? You're going to be carrying inside the movi. Inside the movi, it still doesn't have that elevation. So it's still 20 amas of a distance from where you're standing. So therefore it has to be more than a tefach. So why, why four tefachim though? Maybe it should be a tefach and a half, or two tefachim, or three tefachim. So Rashi says, once it's not a tefach, they put it on a shear that has chshivis. We know that chshivis of any space is considered to be four tefachim. So if it's not a tefach, we put the shear on four tefachim. That's, so this is one pshat. Not necessarily. We don't have to say this. The kula alma kasavri, everybody would hold. You are allowed to carry under the kaira. You're allowed to use the space under the kaira itself. 
But Ubahakam Iflik, the Machlaikis is based on something else. And this is something that the Gemara is going to discuss more by Rikas later. What's really the whole concept of this Kaira? Why does the Kaira work as a heter for the Movi? Mar Sovar Kaira Mishum Heker. So Rav Yasef says that the whole point of the Kaira is just to make a Heker that you should notice that there's a difference between the Rishus Aravim and the Movi. So if the whole point is a Heker, so you have a Heker. If you, if you elevated that space, so it's now, there's no distance of 20 yamas anymore, so you'll see, you'll see the kaira, so you have a heke. Mar Sovar, but Abaya holds that the concept of the, of the kaira is really something else. Kaira mishum mechitze. The concept of the kaira is that it's a mechitze. What's this concept of a mechitze? So Rashi explains, Chachamim are telling you that when you put up a kaira, because you have this sort of roof there, a mini roof right in that uh, space by the end of the Mavoy, it's as if that kaira extends downward. It's as if there's a mechitza from that kaira that extends downward to the ground. We add this in the Gemara and Shabbos, that it says a concept called Pi Tikra Yairid Visaisim. When you have a roof, so I can, because there's a roof, and there's, even if there's mechitzas only on two sides, but the roof, can, we consider it as if you have other mechitzas that are coming down to the ground. So the same thing over here, when you have a kaira, because there's a kaira, it's as if the mechitzas from the kaira are coming down are, and are creating a fourth enclosure to... Is there another gemara? No, there was nine, there was supposed to be nine gemaras. Oh, it's on the top shelf, okay, shkayach. So it's as if you have a fourth enclosure on this opening, okay? Now, so if so, why can't it be higher than 20 yamas? So according to this opinion, Rashi explains, it can't be higher than 20 yamas because Chachamim said that this concept, this imaginary concept, that the tik kaira comes down as if there's a real mechitza here, is only up to 20 yamas. Higher than 20 yamas, we don't say that there's a mechitza here. That's one point. Point number two is, going back to what we said before, Four Tfachim is the minimum space that's considered to be a chash of a space. If you don't have four Tfachim, then there's no Indian of a Mechitza. Just like we learned when you get to the Halach of Rishus HaYachid. What's the minimum space for Rishus HaYachid? Four by four Tfachim. What's the minimum space of a Carmelis? Four by four Tfachim. Below four, than, less than four than four Tfachim is a Mokim Tor. It's not a chash of a space at all. So if the concept of the Kaira is that it's as if there's an, there is an imaginary Mechitza that's coming down, and it has to be less than 20 amis, you have to have a space of 4 by 4 tfachim that's less than 20 amis. That's the reason why Abaya says 4 by 4 tfachim. <laughs> Vibay say, a third pshat on this machlaik is the kula alme kaira mishum heke. Everybody agrees that the concept of the kaira is just to make a heke and it has to be less than 20, fachim, tfachim, 20 amis that is to be able to see it. Vahacha beheke shal mata u beheke shal maila kamifligi. Here, the argument is whether we compare the kaira, which is on the top, and this elevation that you now made on the ground below, whether we compare the two. Mar Savar Rabbi Yasef says, Omrinon, hekeshal mato, kehekeshal maila. We compare the elevation on the ground to the kaira lamaila, just like the kaira lamaila. How, how wide does the kaira lamaila have to be? One tefach. So the elevation on the ground also has to be just one tefach. Mar Savar, but Rabbi says it's not the same thing. I don't compare the heke that's on the bo- above or the heke that's below to the heke that is above. The heke that is above, Chachamim said, one tefach, because that's something that catches people's attention more. That's something that everybody will see. On the ground, the fact that you have a little elevation, people don't see that as much. People don't notice that as much. So when you, ma- when you make this elevation on the ground, here they said that it has to be much wider. It has to be four by four tefachim. Okay, I keep on saying four by four tvachim, but it's not necessarily four by four tvachim. It has to be four tvachim deep into the mavoi. That's the point. Does it have to be only one tefach into the mavoi or four tvachim into the mavoi? Okay, so this is what? This is the third pshat. We could say a fourth pshat for this. Everybody would agree. Just like the kaira above is one tefach, the kaira below, in other words, the elevation that you make below on the ground, could also be only one tefach. But what's the machlaikis? The machlaikis is whether we're concerned that if you're only going to make an elevation of, of a depth of one tefach, People trample over it. People are walking on it constantly, and it might lose that. Uh, it might lose that uh, shear of one tefach. 
It might uh, be get rubbed out. The way that Yishayim actually explained this Gemara here is that we're not talking about a person that builds over there a certain piece of wood or puts tiles or whatever it is to make that elevation on the ground, but from the earth itself, he creates an elevation of a tefach. So since he's making it out of the ground itself, so the, the earth will very easily over time flatten out. So therefore Abayah said, one tefach is not enough. Well, chayshish that it's going to flatten out and you have to make at least four tefachim. So even if part of it gets flattened out, you still have a chaylik enough that it should be, uh, it should be there, that it shouldn't be 20 yamas high. This goes back, by the way, to the machlekes that we had before, b'negei to kedeira de beishutve. So apparently Rav Yosef holds that we're not chayshish that uh, it's going to get flattened out because people are going to remind each other. Rav mitkri adadi. In a movie, they'll remind each other. Mashiach and Abayah says, no, we can't rely on people reminding each other. It could get rubbed out. And it's a Kedera de Beshutfi, and no one's going to take care of it. Yeah, okay, so this is the end of the Indian, Benigayat 2, higher Memayat, the height that's higher than 20 Amas. Now the Gemara goes to the opposite. We had mentioned before that it also is not allowed to be less than 10 Tvachim. Oh, Yepoches Masada Tvachim. What's if the Kedera was less than 10 Tvachim high? And now you have to have it at least 10 tvachim high. So again, how are you going to elevate it higher than 10 tvachim? So you don't have to build on the wall of the Mavi to elevate it. So again, you can just dig into the ground. If you dig into the ground, so then you'll have that height of 10 tvachim. So you're digging into the ground to be mashlim, the space of 10 tvachim. So how much do you have to dig? How much depth do you have to dig into the ground? So it's practically a model, the same like we asked before. Kama you're asking how much? Kama however much it's necessary. If it's eight tvachim high, you need two tvachim. If it's five tvachim high, you need five tvachim, whatever it is. Ela, zakta gemara, meshchay bekama. The length. How much into the mavoi do you have to dig in order to have this height of ten tvachim? In other words, the issue here is really not only benigayat to the kaira. When it comes to the issue of the height of less than ten tvachim, the point is not that the kaira is in a space that it's too low and therefore you can't notice it or it's too low. The, whole, the issue really is regarding the walls of the entire mavoi. The, what's the, the walls of the mavoi is what makes this place really into a Rosh Hashayachet. Elamai, because it's open on the fourth side, Chachama made a takana that you have to make a hekir that it's different than a Rosh Hashayachet. But if you have walls of a mavoi that's less than 10 tfachim, you don't have walls that are high enough to make it into Rosh Hashayachet. So the real issue over here is not just with the kaira. The issue is with the walls of the entire mavoi. So the meshchai, so when you want to make this mavoi into a kosher mavoi that has proper walls of Rosh Hashayachet to be able to be matted, to carry there, how deep into the length of the mavoi do you have to have that space that it should be at least walls of 10 tfachim high? So the Gemara, Rav Yasef Omar, Rav Yasef says, Bar tfachim. It has to be four tfachim wide. Then you have the walls of Rosh Hashayachet, at least four tfachim. As we know always, four by four tfachim is what makes a mavoi, or Bechlal makes a Rosh Hashayachet. By Omar, Rabbi says, Ba'ar Ba'amas. It has to be, by a Mavoy, it has to be four Amas in the depth of the Mavoy. It's not enough for Tzvachim. Right? So Rashi points out the point that I made before. It's the same two people, Abai and Rav Yosef. Before, when they were arguing regarding when it was too high, they were arguing whether it's one Tefach or four Tzvachim. Here they're arguing whether it's four Tzvachim or four Amas. What's the difference? The answer is, like I said, because before the issue was regarding the Kaira itself, that the Kaira is too high. Here, the issue is been again to the walls of the entire mother, that the walls are not high enough because it's not 10 Tvachim high. So therefore, there's a Machlaikis if it's 4 Tvachim or 4 Amas. So the Gemara will explain the basis of the Machlaikis. Shall we say that the arguing in the Machlaikis of Rabami and Abbas, <laughs> the Itmar, because we learned that they said, if you have the walls of a Mavoy. So we're talking over here about which wall? Mitzidai, the side wall of the Mavoy. A Mavoy has three walls, right? Get, get ready to look at the pictures. The Mavoy has three, three walls, the two on the side and one on the back. So one of the side walls of the Mavi was broken open, klape roishay, towards the opening, towards the opening of the Mavi, the, the, the wall was broken. So what's going to be the halacha? So now you have a breach in the wall. So just like any Rishos, you have a breach in the wall, so there's a pirza. Is this Mavi still going to be considered to be a proper enclosure, if, once you have this pirza? So itmer mishmei the rabami verabasi. So the name of rabami and rabasi was said. Im yeshom pas arba. If you have a, a space of a wall by the opening of the mavi that's four tefachim wide, matter. 
So then you can be matter with the kaira that you have by that opening of the fourth opening by the mavi. ad eser. That's only if the breach on the side wall is up until ten amis. V'im lav. But if you don't have four tvachim of a wall that's left there on the side wall, then pachis mishloisha matter. If the breach on the side wall is less than three tvachim, then it's good. But shloisha, once the breach is more than three tvachim, ain't a matter, then it's not okay. So take a look in the picture, you'll see it for yourself. This is in picture, see which number picture is this? <coughs> yeah. It's picture Chav Zion. Okay? If you want to see before, when you get to what it said, that you mashlim it ad asara, when you, when you chayk it into the ground, okay, that's simple. You can look in picture Chav Vav. But in picture Chav Zion, so you see over here a mavoi, and you see the side wall is breached. So if it's breached more than 10 amis, so then it's a problem. If it's breached less than 10 amis, so then if you have four tfachim in the beginning, you see, you have four tfachim right in the beginning, so then that shtickle of the wall is still, it's still a good mavoi. If, it, if you don't have that shtickle of four tfachim there, so then it has to be less than the opening, the breach has to be less than three tfachim, because then you say lovud. Okay? Picture of Zion is the picture that I'm looking at. Okay, the, the concept here is very simple. The whole point of the mavoi is that it's enclosed from three sides, and people walk out only from the fourth side. And the fourth side, you have a kaira or a lechi. But what happens if you have an opening on one of the side walls of the mavoi? So people are really walking out from the side wall. So they're not walking out anymore through this place which is a kaira. You, you're not enclosed from three sides. So that's what we're discussing over here. So therefore you're saying as long as you have a wall that's four, if the, uh, as long as you have a wall that's four tfachim, so then it's considered to still be enclosed from all sides. And uh, as long as it's not open ten amas. If it's not open ten amas on the side, we say that the Pesach is the fourth side and therefore it's a good movi. This is who? <laughs> Rab Ami and Ravasi. Okay, so now, what does the Gemara say? Le Rav Yosef isle the Rav Ami. So Rav Yosef that says that what, when you need the shear, when you're digging into the ground, to have the shear of the walls of a mavoi, how much do you need? You need four tfachim. See, so he's going like what Rav Ami, Rav Ami says. Rav Ami, Rav Asi says that how much do you need for the walls of a mavoi? Four tfachim. La baye, less the Rav Ami. Abaye does not hold of what Rav Ami and Rav Asi said. Abaye says that when you're digging into the ground, you need four amas. Four tfachim is not good enough. You need four amas. So he doesn't hold of what Rav Ami said. So that's the question over here. What is the minimum to qualify the walls of a mavoi? Four tfachim or four amas? Rav Yasef says like Rav Ami, four tfachim. And Abaye says, no, four tfachim is not good enough. You have to have four amas. Abaye answers you, no, I'm not, I don't have to argue with what Rab Ami said. Hasam Saif Mavi. Over there, it's Saif Mavi. What does Saif Mavi mean? So Rashi explains, over there we're talking about a Mavi that was a good Mavi, it had the proper walls, the proper height, and it was a Mavi. And then a breach took place. So when you had a good Mavi and there was a breach that took place, so over there were more Mekel. Over there we say, as long as there's still a wall of four tfachim at the beginning of the mavoi, that's good enough. That's over there. But hacha tchilas mavoi. Over here you never had a good mavoi bachlal. Over here the walls were never, they were, ne they were never ten tfachim high. So you never had a good mavoi bachlal. Because the kaira was not the, the kaira wasn't, and the walls also. We're, we're not only discussing the kaira, we're talking about the walls. The walls of the mavoi were not ten tfachim high. Why is the kaira not ten tfachim high? Because the kaira is being placed on the walls of the mavoi that were never ten tfachim high. That's the issue over here. The whole wall, the whole wall, was, the whole wall was never ten tfachim high. So you never had proper walls for this mavoi. So therefore, i ika arba amois in. To make it into a good mavi, l'chatchila, to start it off, to become a good mavi. If you have four amis, then it becomes a mavi. And Eloi loi, if you don't have Abba amis, it's not. So there's a difference. There's a difference if there was a mavi that got a breach in it, then four tzvachim is good enough. Or a mavi that was never a good mavi, and you want to make it now a qualified mavi to be able to be carrying in it, over here you have to have dafka four amis. So even though you're doing four amis only on, on, on below the kaira, the walls still are the same walls. 
Okay. You, the person's digging into the ground. What are we doing here? The person's digging into the ground, the and through that, the no, not only by the kaira, he's he's digging in a length of four amas into the mavoi. Right. So then the the mavoi could be a face of Yeah. Amas. True. But that doesn't matter. In order for the mavoi to be qualified as a mavoi, all you need is four amas. The rest of it will not be considered a mavoi. The rest where you did not dig into the ground will not be part of the mavoi. The mavoi will be those four amas or those four tvachim. It's not the pshat that if you're going to dig into the ground over here. Okay, and the chanami. Okay. Correct. So over here, this whole area for us is this part. Separate. So I don't know if you can carry there. That's not part of the movie. It's not part. Maybe becomes. Maybe become. Maybe becomes like chayre de shusayachet. We had the halacha once of chayre de shusayachet. The chayre will have the din. It becomes tofel to the movie. The point of what Abaya and Rav Yosef is saying over here is that space where you dig, and you elevate the height of the wall to be ten tfachim, whether four tfachim in or four amis in. That's the space that becomes the movie. The rest of it, where you did not dig, and it's not four tfachim, it's not ten tfachim high. The wall, it does, it's not, it's not part of the mavi. It becomes maybe tuffle to the mavi, but the mavi is only in this space where it's where you dug. So then, let's ask another question over here. What if we do just dig around this area? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, Zokta Gemara Vaiter Abaye is going to bring the source for his opinion. Rav Yosef brought the source of his opinion. We said from Rav Ami and Rav Asi. Abaye brings the source for his opinion. Amar Abaye. Um, so again, to clarify before we go into this market that Abaye brings, the Shiloh over here is how large does the minimum size of a Mavoy have to be? Four Amis or four Tvachim? Okay? So Zakta Abaye, Minoa, Minola, how do I know that it can't be that a Mavoy is four Tvachim? It has to be more than that. The Tanya, because we learned in Abraisa, actually according to most opinions, this is not Abraisa, this is a statement of Rav. We had this once in Gemara Shabbos, the Gemara brings it later. A mavi niter, belechi vekaira, you can't be mata to carry in a mavoi through having either a lechi or a kaira, achiyu batim vechatseirais psuchen letoichai. You have to have two houses and two chatseirais that are opened into this mavoi. There's actually machloikis about this. According to most opinions, the pshat is you have to have two chatseiris opened into this mavoi, on both sides of the mavoi. You have two chatseiris opened up into it. And on each side, in each chatser, there's two houses in each one of the chatseiris. So you have four houses and two chatseiris that are opened up into the mavoi, then you can be mat to the mavoi. What's the reason you need this? We'll see Mitzvah later when we learn the sugi about this. But this is the halacha. You have to have... Two chatseirais and four houses that are opening up into the mavi. Frakta Gemara, Sana Abaye says what his raya is. What size is the mavi itself? V'i bedalid, if you're telling me that the whole entire size of the mavi itself is just four tfachim, hei how would this be possible? What's the pshat in the Gemara's question? But here's the klal. Anytime you have any opening, any doorway, it could only be considered to be an opening if it's four tfachim wide. If it's not four tfachim wide, it's, it's not counted as an opening. B'chlau. Just like we said before, when you get to the chshivas of any space, the minimum chshivas of a space is four tfachim. The same thing is also with any opening. In order for the opening to be considered an opening, it has to be four tfachim wide. So, you have an opening from one chatzar into this mavoi, you have an opening from another chatzar from the other side into this mavoi. The actual mavoi itself is a tiny space of four tfachim. In order to have a doorway, so Rashi explains, every doorway has to have a door frame. You can't stop have an opening, it has to be a door frame. So the mavi itself is four tfachim. The opening with a door frame is going to be less than four tfachim. So you don't have an opening from the chatzedis that's four tfachim wide into the mavi. Take a look in picture chav ches. So what is it? See in picture chav ches? Okay, so you have four tfachim and then you have two openings. So the opening into this tiny mavoi, you see usually the back wall of the mavoi goes all the way to the back. But over here, the way this mavoi is built is, it's a tiny mavoi. The, the wall, the back wall is not all the way at the back, the back wall is moved up. So you have a tiny mavoi of four tfachim. So the opening into the mavoi is very small, it's too small that it should be considered to be a proper opening. Because as I mentioned, you have to have door frames and, they, and therefore it's, it's going to be less than four tfachim. That's so therefore Abaye says it has to be more than four tfachim. The opening, the opening. The Nukudah here is the opening because you have to have chatseirais psuchim l'soichai. 
So the chatzer is that a psuchim l'soychai are not considered to be psuchai so if it's less than four tzvachim. At least four tzvachim, and, and you don't have that here, right? Okay, zok te gemara vaitem. Chi teime the pasach lei, the pasach la, bedoifen am tzoi. But there's another Eitzah. Instead of making the opening of the Mavoi on the side, like you usually have it, how about if you make the opening into the Chatzeres in the back wall? Doifun Amtsoi is the back wall. And then you could make a space of an opening for both Chatzeres, even if it's only four Tfachim deep, because it could be more, it could be wider than four Tfachim. Take a look in picture. Take a look in which picture are we talking about here? Picture Chavtes. In picture Chavtes, so it's only four Tfachim deep, but if you're going to make the opening on the back wall, you can make the width of this much more than four Tfachim. See? You could have a very, you could have, it could have, it could be much wider, even though the depth is only four Tfachim, and then you could have two proper openings. So if you make the opening on the side wall the way it usually is, you're going to have a problem. But if you want to make the opening on the back wall, so it's only four Tfachim, like Rav Yosef said, in the depth, but in the length, it could be much lower, longer than that. So you could have a proper opening. Yeah. 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 Huh? No, so then it's not Fort Falchim. The whole point no, here is valuable. good, but the whole point is that Av Yosef said that you could have a minimum space of four Falchim, and that 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 is good enough. So we're, we're dealing with only four Falchim. So the Gemara says, "No, say this." So the eight is make it longer. And a Hanami in the depth, it's only four Tzvachim, but you can make it longer, and then you can have two openings in the back wall that are going to be uh, wide enough. One second, Zakta Gemara, that, that can't be, this won't work, because here there's another Din Binigeta Mavi, another limitation, which we're going to learn later, more Barichas about. V'am Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said, Nakitinon, we have a Kabbalah Binigeta Mavo, Yezeo Mavi Shunita Belecha Bikaira, which Mavoi could be Mater with a Lechi and a Kaira, Kol she'orkoi yeser al rochpoi. Only if the length is more than the width. And over here, in this case, the width is going to be more than the length. Okay? Usually the width and the length depends on what's longer. And what. But the, the point over here is that you're making this space of the mavoi in such a way that the, the width of the mavoi is longer than the, than, the, um, than the length. The length is only four tfachim. Right, and then the length or the depth is four tfachim, and the width is much more, but it doesn't work. A mavoi, the, the depth has to be more than the width. Well, that's the only time that a mavoi is nitter. So your eitz that you're giving is not going to work. And another thing, ubatim is psuchim That's what we mentioned before that you have to have two chatzeiros with two houses in each one of these chatzeiros that are open into it. So the kitzer, the eitzer that you're saying is not good. So we go back to what we said before, that according to Rav Yasef, you have a little space of four tfachim, you don't have enough space to open up the, the, the openings of the chatzer into the space. Isn't he saying that, the, Rav Yasef's not saying that it has to be, it could be square four tfachim? That's okay, and, that, and if it's square four tfachim, it's not going to be enough space <laughs> of the openings of the two chatzeres into it. How do we give this uh, idea of two wider, because the Gemara didn't know of this statement of Rav Nachman. The Rav Nachman said that it has to be uh, at least Rachpoi has to be more than the Arkai. And for the Gemara, um, the Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef answers to this Raya of Abaye, the Pasach Luhu Bekeren Zavis. What you're going to do is you're going to make a diagonal opening. If you have a diagonal opening, you always gain space when you have a diagonal opening. If you make a straight opening, then it's not going to work. A diagonal opening will work. Take a look in picture Lamed. So what do you see over here? The back wall, right? So you have four by four Tvachim, but then the back wall is narrower than four Tvachim. So now you have a space open from both Chatzeros diagonally. So therefore, it's going to be enough of an opening of four Tvachim to enter into this place. That's the Maskana. Abaye brought another source to his opinion. said, in the name of Ravuna. Lechi If you have a lechi that's sticking out from the wall of the Mavi, what this basically means is that you have, oh, uh, uh, usually a Mavi is, the, the, the fourth side is totally open. But over here, the fourth side wasn't totally open. The fourth side, part of it had a, a wall built there. So, let's take a look in picture Lamed Aleph, right? So the fourth side of the Mavi wasn't totally open. See? 
There's a wall there. So now the question is, if there's a wall built there, could that itself be used as a lechi? So if that wall that was built on the fourth side is less than four amis, you can treat it like a lechi. Because it's less than four amis, we don't look at it just as a wall of the mavui. It, you can see it, it's a hekir that it's a, something that's there on the fourth wall that can be treated as a lechi, there's a hekir for this mavui. But if it's... Um, one second. It doesn't need another lechi to be matter this fourth uh, wall, this opening. This itself is the lechi. But if you have this part of a wall that's built there and it's itself four amis wide, so then So then it's wide enough like a movi itself. And if it's wide enough like the movi itself, we just look at it like another wall. It's not a good hacker. It's not going to remind people. It's not, it's not considered to be a hacker. It's just a, another wall. And if it's another wall, so then... You have to have another lechi to be matter to be able to carry. How do you put another lechi? It's just going to be. Well, we'll see, the Gemara will explain. So the Gemara will explain. Counter, this is counter logical, sort of, because you make the wall wider. You call it basically. Correct, but there's two. There's a few points here. There's a few points here. First of all, he didn't build his fourth wall as a lechi. It was just built as another wall. It was built as a wall. It makes a difference what it, what the person's intention was. If you built it lechatchila as a lechi and you made your lechi very wide, so then it doesn't matter. Then it's going to be fine. But it was built as a wall. So now the question is, what will people treat it as? What are people going to see it as? The fact is, it still has the opening on the, on the fourth side. It's not totally enclosed. If it's less than four amis, people will see it as something that's like unique. If it's four amis, so then people will say, oh, it's just another wall of the movie. It won't remind them. So what do we see over here? What's considered to be the space of a movie? It's four amis, right? It says if it's four amis, that's considered to be the wall of a mavi. So this is like a Bayez opinion that says four amis, not like Rav Yosef's opinion that says four tfachim. But Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef says, no, there's no raya from that statement of Rav Huna. Why not? La fuki mitayres lechi. In order for something to not be considered to be a lechi, that people will recognize it as something unique here, adik arbamis. It's only if it's mamish very wide. If it's four amis, so then people will treat it as a wall. But to have a wall of a mavoi, I feel about nami have a mavoi. Even four tvachim is also a mavoi, just like every Rishus HaYachid, the space to make a Rishus HaYachid is four tvachim, not four amas. So now the Gemara brings back this halachi itself and the Gemara will explain it. Gufe, Omer Ami Bacha, Omer Abhune, Lechi Abbeilet Midofne Shom Mavoi, a Lechi that's sticking out on the fourth wall from the mavoi. And again, as I said, it wasn't a Chathila built to be a Lechi, it was built to be a wall. So pachis mar bamis, if it's less than four amis, nidin mishum lechi. So then it's unique, people will notice it, I treat it as a lechi. Vein sarach lechi achal I don't need another lechi to be matter to carry over here. Dalar amis, if it's four amis wide, nidin mishum mavi. So then it's just seen as another wall of the mavi. Vitzarach lechi achal You have to have another lechi to be matter to carry in this uh, mavi. So now the Gemara asks this question, so where do you put that other lechi? The second lechi that you have to put there, so where do you put it? If you're going to attach this lechi to this wall that's there, it just looks like you're adding another piece to the wall. You don't see a hacker that there's another special side beam as a lechi there to be able to carry. But Rav Papa says, you're right, you have to put the lechi on the other side in order that you should see that there's a lechi here. Rav Rav Yeshua says, no, it doesn't matter. You could put the lechi, attach it to this piece of the wall on the fourth side. How are you going to notice it? The mitfi base, you can make it either higher, a little bit higher than the rest of that wall, you can make it a little bit thicker than the rest of the wall, or the mitfi base, or you make it a little bit lower or a little bit thinner than the rest of the wall. You can take a look in the picture Lamed Beis, picture Lamed Gimel, or Lamed Dalet, or Lamed Hay. So they have all the pictures where you could see that you put the lechi near this part of the wall, but you just make it a different height or a different measurement and people will notice that there's a lechi here. Omar Avonu Berei Derav Yeshua. So Avonu Berei Derav Yeshua added to this halacha. Lo Yomadon, this whole thing that we're talking about over here, that you have part of a wall on the fourth side, and we're saying that it is an issue if it's considered to be a lechi or it's not considered to be a lechi. Ela b'mavoi shmoina. If the opening to the mavoi is eight amas. But if the opening to the Mavi is only seven Amis, 
So then, niter ba'oymid miruba ala parutz. So then, if you have a wall that's four amas wide, so what did we say? If you have a wall that's four amas wide, people don't treat it as a lechi. People just treat it as another wall. But if your whole opening was seven amas wide, and now you have a wall that's four amas, so this opening, most of it is closed off. This is one of the basic points that we'll see later on over here in this Patek, in Bechlal and Masech the Edevin, anytime you have a breach and it's partially closed up, there's a klal. If it's oimid merubah laparetz, if the closure is more than the breach, so then it's considered to be totally closed. If the breach is more than the closure, so then it's considered to be open. So if it's only seven amis, the whole opening, and if you have a wall of four amis, so forget about it, if it's a lechi or not. It is oimid. If you have mostly closed off, so it's not going to be a problem. And he explains this, I could say this concept of oimid merubah laparetz, and I learned it with a kavachayim from chotze. Ma chotzer, when it comes to a chotzer, she'ein ani teres belechi v'kaira. By a by a chotzer, if you have a four, a, a, if the fourth side of a chotzer is open to a rishus arabim, you can't be matter it with a lechi and a kaira. This whole concept of lechi and kaira is a is a takanas chacham regarding a mavi. Not it doesn't work by a chotzer. But nevertheless, ni teres ba'oymid merubah laparutz in a chotzer. If there's a breach in one of the sides of the chotzer, and you have the closure more than the breach, it's okay. Mavoy shenitte belechi v'kaira by a mavoy that I find that Chachamu were makel and they made the takan of a lechi and a kaira ain't it in shenitte ba'imid merub ala paritz for sure ba'imid merub ala paritz should work. So the Gemara says not necessarily it's not a kavochaimer because you have a pircha on this ma'al chotzer by a chotzer you say she came pirtsasa be'esser the breach in a chotzer that it should still be considered to be an enclosure and a rishus ayachir is up to ten amis. Taima be mavoy, on the other hand, when it comes to a mavoy, how large does the breach have to be? Could it be up to? Shepitzase ba'arba. The pirza is only up to four tfachim. That's how large the pirza could be. Now, we just learned in the Gemara on Amr Aleph that the pirza could be up to ten amas as well by a mavoy. So this is actually a machloikis, as the Gemara is about to say. There's a machloikis whether by a mavoy it's the same as a chotzer, or with more machmer, and by a, chot, by a mavoy it could only be up to four tfachim. So the Gemara Taka says right away, Kasava Rav Hone Berei the Rav Yeshua Mavoi Nami Pritzasi Be'eser. Like we said before, just like by a Chotzer, it could have a breach up to ten Amis. So he holds the same thing applies to a Mavoi. So there is no extra Kula that you find in a Chotzer more than a Mavoi. So we could learn out a, a Mavoi from a Chotzer. So the Gemara says, wait a minute, Laman Kamrinan. According to who is Rav Huna Berei the Rav Yeshua speaking? Rav Huna Berei the Rav Yeshua was saying something about the Halacha that Rav Huna said. This whole halacha about having this fourth wall, a fourth partial wall, was all Rav Hune speaking. That's who it began with. So, Vaha Rav Hune, Pritzasei Bedalet Svirele, as we'll see later in the Gemara, Rav Hune holds that regarding a Mavoy, we're more machmer than a Chatzar, and even if it has a breach, it's only four Tvachim, I say that it's not a good wall anymore for the Mavoy. So therefore we see that there is a bigger Chumre in a Mavoy more than a Chatzar. So you can't learn out a Mavoy from a Chatzar. And for the Gemara, Rav Hone Berei the Rav Yeshua, time it the Nafshei Ka'omar. Even though Rav Hone Berei the Rav Yeshua was saying something, explaining what Rav Hone said, but he wasn't saying that this is what Rav Hone held. He was saying his own opinion. According to Rav Hone Berei the Rav Yeshua, a Mavoy is not more Chamor than a Chatzar. Hitaka disagrees with Rav Hone. So this is what Rav Hone Berei the Rav Yeshua said. Rav Hone Berei the Rav Yeshua said that if the fourth opening is seven Amis wide, and then you have a partial wall, which is four amas wide, so it's oimid merubah laparet, it's mostly closed, so therefore it's fine. Ravashi goes one step further. Ravashi Omar, Ravashi says, afilateime b'mavoy shmaina. Even if you have a mavoy where the fourth opening is eight amas wide, and now you have a partial wall for half of it, which is four amas wide, namilei tzarech lechi, you also won't need a lechi. Why not? Manafshach, because either way it's going to be fine. If the wall that's there is more than the open space, so then niter ba'oimid berum ala paritz. So then the the oimid, the the space of the wall is more than the breach. Vi paritz nafish, and if the opening is more, the breach is more niden mishum lechi. Then you can treat it as a lechi because then it's less than four amis. In other words, the point of here is when you make a wall that's exactly half. It's eight amas, and it's exactly half wall and half opening. Is it exact? Is it mamish? Could you measure it to be mamish exact, half and half? 
Rashi and Taisas bring up over here, we have always the klal, e efshelet samsim. Could you make it mamish exact to be? So now they're from the manashach. If it was a drop less than four amis, so less than four amis, we said before, we treat it as a lechi. If it's exactly four amis, or exactly a, or a drop more than four amis, so then it's a drop more, so then it's oimit. More of it is oimit. So therefore, yeah. miman of shech, it's okay. But now you assume that the eight amis is, is, is the tzimtzum. Correct, okay. So, so, <laughs> so we're talking so about... So, so either way, we can't, be, we can't be mitzamtzum. No, maybe it's a drop more than eight amis. Okay, <laughs> okay. So my omret, so I, what are you going to say? The shavu tarvayu. Maybe the wall that he made is exactly equal to the opening. It's four amis opening and four amis wall. So maybe it, then it is going to be a problem because then it's not oimid berubal apart. It's maybe it's exactly half and half. Ki adadi havalei safik devreim. Even when it's, it looks to be the exact same, it's still considered to be a suffix divreim, the suffix divreim lahakal. What's the pshat and what the Gemara says? So Rashi says, even if it looks to be mamish hadadi, ef shalitzamtzim. Still, because we're speaking about the ism the Rabbanon, so therefore we say that mistam it's not exact, and therefore either it's a drop less or it's a drop more, and therefore in the shach, you're going to be mad to this. There's a big discussion in Taisus about this, because this concept of EF Shalitzamtzim is brought up in other places in Shas, and in other places in Shas, the maskan of the Gemara is that we are, you could be Mitzamtzim. When you have something that exists naturally, then you say, Bideshemayim, the Ebesh creates something naturally, we say EF Shalitzamtzim, we're not going to say that it's exactly it's a certain measurement. But something that's created Bideyodom, when a person measures it, the maskan of the Gemara in most places is that a person could be mitzamtzim and measure that it should be mamish exact. So Texas has a, there's a whole long Texas here discussing the Pshat on the Gemara. But Rashi says the Pshat on the Gemara is that a person can't be mitzamtzim and therefore we're mekel.